Hi, Cynthia Mason here. I'm one of the Canadian trademark lawyers with the law firm of Mason PC and with our online platform, Markably. I had an interesting uh, client consult yesterday, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about it because it was actually somewhat remarkable. You know, we work with a lot of new entrepreneurs and business owners, um, but the reality is we don't encounter that many of them that have invented something completely new. So I'm talking about um, they have created a product that is new and useful and isn't already out in the marketplace. And when you do create something completely new and useful, um, you do have the potential of getting a patent for it. Now, I'm not a patent lawyer, but a I can tell you that a patent is basically a government grant of a time limited time limited monopoly to make and sell your invention. So basically it's the government rewarding you for creating something completely new and useful and they're going to give you a runway of time where you can be the only seller for it and this gives you the opportunity to build your market share and to build brand loyalty. Now, the reality is the vast majority of us, and I mean us included, we don't invent something new. We sell our own versions of products and services, um, but we're not really in the category of innovators who, who are qualified to have that patent protection or that government grant of a monopoly to sell what it is we're selling. And so we have to deal with competitors, other people who are out there looking at what we're doing and how we're doing it and trying to recreate it all together or even make improvements over what it is that we're doing. And so we have to rely on other avenues of the law in order to protect our exclusivity, in order to help customers differentiate what it is that we sell from everybody else. And, you know, the way that we do that is with a strong brand. You pick a really unique name, you use it consistently and widely in your marketing, and most importantly, you register it as your trademark. That trademark registration, similar to a patent, is a government grant over the exclusive right to use that brand name in connection with your products, your services, or things that are very, very similar. And so it's even if you, you don't qualify for a patent, you do still qualify for exclusivity over your brand and you use your brand as the, the main competitive and distinguishing factor to kind of keep you apart from your competitors. So if you are out there and you're selling something that's you know your own version of a product or service and you haven't claimed that exclusivity over your brand name, book a free consult with us. We would love to get you started on the trademark ownership path. Um, so that you can protect yourself from your competitors.